Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner of the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. It's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today because we've got a really neat program planned for you. The topic, a romantic little arrangement. A romantic little arrangement. And I think you're going to really enjoy it. Notice our container here. We've got a small uh, little mint julep container. A little mint julep container. And we have a little bit of foam already in it. We have some foliage in it. We've got both some baker fern and also some variegated pittosporum here. The variegated pittosporum, like many of the materials that we're going to be used in today's, using in today's presentation, are from Israel. And they are brought in by a great company called Blooming of Beloit in Beloit, uh, Wisconsin. And I think you're going to really enjoy this demonstration. The first thing we're going to start with in terms of our materials besides our foliage here is some of this stuff. This is called cochia. Cochia. It's brought in from Israel. It is very, very neat. It is a silvery kind of color. And I thought that if we're using a silvery kind of mint julep container, some of the cochia would be kind of fun to use as well. And we're going to take some of our cochia and we're going to go around in a circle with it. And I think that you're going to find that this is going to give a very, very neat kind of framing or doily to our design. And I'm taking small little pieces and working it around. You're going to enjoy this one. This one's going to be a fun one. And I think that you'll see how we can take some of these incredibly great materials and come up with very, very interesting effects. So I'm taking some of my cochia and I'm working it around in a doily-like effect on the bottom part of my design before I add any of my materials further into the arrangement. <clears throat> the cochia is considered a foliage, but to me it's, it's kind of like a cross. It feels kind of a cross between a foliage and a flower. And I don't know of very many materials that we have available that have this incredible silvery um, white kind of finish to it. It's just absolutely fantastic. We love working with some of this stuff here at Rittner's Floral School in Boston. And so I'm taking this, working it, going all the way around. This is going to be a small little romantic arrangement. Just because we're saying romance doesn't mean to say it has to be huge or humongous. We can have romantic things that are small but incredibly cool. And notice that with just a little bit of our cochia going around, we've created a doily in our design. Now, let's, if we're talking romance, we obviously have to be talking a rose. And so let's stick a nice big rose right here in the center of our piece because you never can go wrong <clears throat> when you're dealing with roses. So we've got a little rose in place. And then we've got another incredible material from Israel. These are some of our Lysianthus, again brought in by Blooming of Beloit in Beloit, Wisconsin. Lysianthus, they're available in a variety of colors. And these are just so pretty. We're going to take a few of them, and I like the, the pink kind of color. So I'm going to work a few of our pink Lysianthus into our arrangement. And I'm keeping it in fairly close, as you can see. I'm going to put some not only in the front, but I'm also going to work some around towards the other side, because this is meant to be all the way around. And it can be viewed no matter what angle you're looking at it. And I think that this is just the neatest stuff. And so we're placing some of our Liz in through our design. Now let's see, what else do we have that we can mix into our arrangement? besides our rose and our lysianthus. Oh, here's something, another product brought in from Israel. Uh, this is really neat. This is a dianthus. It's called the Green Trick. Green Trick Dianthus. And it is very, very cool. And I think you're going to enjoy playing with this stuff. This happens to be a dianthus that has kind of a fuzzy feel to it. They come in bigger and they come in smaller. And I love these because they add texture and interest to our arrangement. And notice that working them in between some of our Lysianthus, we're getting a really, really cool effect. I like this stuff. This is great. Now, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, well, we never can go wrong with ranunculus. And we also have some ranunculus from uh, Israel that we can play with in this design. Again, a great product. Wonderful to work with. Comes in so many vibrant colors, although I happen to be favoring, obviously, on this design today, some of my reds and my pinks and so forth, because I think that that fits better into the scheme that I would like to portray in this particular design. But you never can go wrong with this stuff. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it comes, again, from the folks at Blooming of Belloid. 
I'm just going to work another piece right in over here. Isn't that something? Isn't that great? And then let's take another piece and work it over onto the other side because this is something we want to be able to view all the way around. You can see this is coming out very, very nicely for us. Now let's see, what other things do we have that we can play with? Oh, well, I've got mini Gerbera. Mini Gerbera are always a fun little flower to work in, and I've got a very, very vibrant pink one. The advantage, of course, of our mini Gerbera is they come in so many different colors. They're vibrant, and they really work very, very nicely and add a splash of color into our design. I'm going to work another Lysianthus in. I've got a little kind of creamy colored one. I'm going to work that one in. We're almost done, but let's see if we can add one more very neat product that is coming in now from Israel. This happens to be Ornithogalum. Ornithogalum, it's the dubium variety, and we're getting it in in both uh, the yellow and also in the orange. So let's work a little bit of our Ornithogalum dubium in here. Uh, most of our design here is definitely in the pinks, pinks and whites, but I'm going to sneak a little bit of the yellow dubium in here just to add a, a little kind of wild touch of color into it to give us a little bit of contrast. So it's going to kind of give us a little bit of a punch and a little touch of contrast to our design. So we'll work a little bit of our ornithoglum dubium into it. And it's nice stuff. It's very pretty. So we'll add a few pieces over here, like so. Isn't that gorgeous? It really works so well. Uh, once again, I could stop at this point, but I, I can't help myself. I love these materials that we have to play with. We have a few hypericum berries. You never can go wrong with hypericum. And so I'm going to work a few of our hypericum berries in for added interest and just to add a little touch of color again to our design. And so now we've got some hypericum berries mixed in here as well. Isn't that a beautiful little design for a romantic statement? I think so. Let's look at it close up. If you look real close on the top, you've got some of your cochia here. We've got our rose. We've got some of our lysianthus worked in through. We've got some of our ranunculus worked in here. A few uh, of our yellow ornithogalum some of our hypericum, and of course our green trick dianthus to give us a very, very pretty and lovely romantic statement that would be appreciated by somebody at any time throughout the year. Well, my viewer, easy, huh? Of course it is, because that's the Rittner Floral School way. At Rittner Floral School, we show you how to design and we make it easy and fun, and that's the whole idea behind it. We, uh, I think you can see that we can come up with some incredibly cool things, and we enjoyed very much in this particular presentation playing with some of the new product coming in from Israel. It was a real fun demonstration. We thank you for coming in and visiting with our classroom today. We hope that you come and visit more of our uh, video series. Again, on behalf of Rittner Floral School, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and once again, we hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.